Hi everyone, today we're talking about my opinions on the Icelandic horse. So this horse actually didn't have a Gen 1 version, but it did have a Gen 2 version. I bought like every Gen 2 Icelandic horse back in the day. I was missing, I think, maybe two of them. May actually, it was three. I was missing the white gray, the black Icelandic horse, as well as the like Bay Tabiano, but I think that was it. And I loved these Gen 2 horses. Like, I had so many Icelandic horses. I had, like, so many fan fictions wrote, like, I wrote about them. Like, I loved them so, so much. These were the perfect horses to take to Donna Valley. They were perfect for quests. They were perfect for everything. The gates, the animations, the, the horse model was phenomenal. Like, everybody loved this horse. I feel like it was also a really popular club horse. I used to be part of the club Superstars, and that's a really popular club on Pumpkin Meadow. I don't know if they're still around. They probably are. I know it's a legacy club, so when I was in Pumpkin Meadow for Superstars, that was after they stopped using the Icelandic horse. But back when Athena Highland was here, back when like all those popular Superstars were still around, they had the Icelandic horse. And I loved that so much. So Gen 2 was pretty much a really good era. That was the best era, for real. It was the people, the clubs, the horses, the quests, the storylines. It was iconic. Also, the fashion sense. Like, back then, the fashion was just popping. Anyway, but basically, Gen 3 comes around. And Gen 3, the Icelandic horse in Gen 3, is so good. I saw a few people dislike it. However, it's a really, really good horse. It's realistic. The coat colors are really great. And on top of that, like, the gates are really amazing, and so is the animations. Like... It's Gen 2, but just upgraded, honestly. And it's really, really pretty, too. It's realistic as well. And it looks like a real Icelandic horse to me. Some people don't agree with that. I know a lot of people prefer Gen 2 to the Gen 3s. However, the Gen 3 really is an upgrade. It just... I don't see a problem. Right now, I have the Gen 3 Icelandic horse. Only a few colors, I'm pretty sure. I have the, like... That one, like, done color. I also have the chestnut. I think there's another one I have as well. I'm missing most of them, though, because they are pretty expensive, but I think they always were expensive. Star Stable does have those discount days, though. I remember the last time there was an Icelandic discount, I think they were, like, 500 star coins only. And I was like, wow, that's crazy. And then I proceeded to buy an Arabian horse instead. So the Icelandic horse is pretty cool because like a few years ago, like a new coat color just spawned into the gene pool and Star Stable added that coat color to the game. So that's really fun. They're just really pretty horses and they're really cool. I mean, it's a fuzzy, really cute looking horse. I mean, what more could you really want? If I could get any more of them, I would though. Like, I would probably get... I only have a few on my wish list. Right now, it's the new coat color, the, like, I guess the chestnut horse with the black mane and tail, the white-gray Icelandic, as well as the, I guess, the brown Tabiano, as well as the bay and the black and white Tabiano, because, like, that one reminds me of a Shingatink pony, and then the bay... Icelandic reminds me of my original Bay Icelandic from Gen 2. I love that horse so much. I named him Greendale, and I would ride him around Greendale as well as Epona, and I had a blast with that horse so much. I love that horse a lot. I used him for questing. I made fanfiction. Like, I love that horse. I really do miss writing fanfiction about horses in the game, but, like, I just, I grew out of it, and I, I miss it so much, but if I could go back, I would. As we know, I would do anything to return to 2016. And, like, I'm not obsessed with the game anymore, but it's because it really changed, you know? But, like, if I could go back to 2016, it, I would, because the air was different, the weather was different, the game was different, life was different, it was just different, and it was just better for my opinion, obviously. And although the horses weren't considered the best by today's standards, back then they were like amazing for their time you know now some of the gen 2 horses though are better than gen 3 
like, for example, the Morgan. I think the Gen 2 Morgan was way better. And I really am sad that I didn't like it when it re released back then because I probably would have loved it, but I, I don't know why I didn't. I guess I just didn't like it. I think the Gen 2 Lip of Honor was better. I think that the Gen 2 Frisian was also better, too. But for the most part, a lot of the Gen 2 horses have good upgrades. Like, for example, the Gen 2 Shire, the Gen 3 version way better. But yeah, that's just my opinions. Bye!